We're here in Fiji for the pilot of our Solar Scholars training and it's actually been something that's been in the pipeline for a few years. We've seen a need for it here in the Pacific uh, as a way to empower our communities with the tools and the knowledge to be able to assemble and maintain solar power systems. So we trained with Pacific Climate Warriors in Fiji. This is a bit different than the way we trained with just uh, local solar scholars because it's not a face-to-face -face training. There are around 300 plus um, solar scholars all over the Philippines. It's a training program where we train people to integrate a renewable energy in times of disaster, disaster preparedness and disaster response. It really is just about completing a basic PV solar panel system and this is just the first step on uh, building an understanding around basic solar panel systems with the hope that we can now move on to building a modular solar power system and that's the, the end goal for this training is to build the tech pack and the tech pack is a small modular solar panel system that was developed in the Philippines after Typhoon Haiyan as a way for people to continue to access power in the aftermath of a disaster and we know as things continue to escalate here in the Pacific because of the climate crisis, access to power and access to energy in the aftermath of disaster is really important for, for everyone. When we got it working and the light switched on, yeah, it was really rewarding. I think after a full week of trying to learn about it, put it all together, all the trial and errors, I came in here with zero knowledge about um, the solar energy, the energy landscape, uh, especially with using tools. And I came out with a whole bunch of new skills on putting things together myself with my own hands. This is a really good opportunity to be a part of building climate solution. I am also a survivor of uh, Haiyan and then I got introduced here about the renewable energies. The thought that I could share what I learned and then giving back to other people or to other communities, other countries, what I know about renewable energy and climate to share with them. For me, it's very much fulfilling even though it's hundreds of kilometers away. Going back to, to my community, especially uh, going back uh, to Taviuni, I will help them with this uh, solar system. Uh, their farms, they don't have electricity. So this is a better idea of uh, learning the, the solar system. Uh, they can have electricity and charge their phone and listen to, to the radios. It's a privilege to know something that would help the community. Here at PCC, part of our work is our community and our people to be able to send information, be able to provide uh, assistance, help our communities in terms of our, uh, natural disasters and even climate change that really affecting our community now. The hope for this training is that it can be spread across the entire region. Our work as 350 is to try and push for a transition away from fossil fuels to renewable energy. And for our communities, this is what it looks like for us, community-led and community-based solutions. And so it starts with empowering our people with the knowledge and the tools in order to be able to understand that this is possible for them.